Hi everyone, welcome to Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. So Honor Store has finally delivered its Honor Watch ES to my doorstep. I've had it for a whole one day, but that is enough for me to make an initial impressions review. We will be discussing the design, the display. We'll actually talk about where this watch sits in the whole Honor smartwatch range. If you are new to Wesno's Tech News and Reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss out. I would like to begin this review with emotions. Because when I saw the pre-release video of the Honor Watch ES, I felt elated. I was truly excited about this watch. It was supposed to have a very much curved screen. They promised that the screen is going to be huge. It would curve around your wrist. I loved it. Looking at the vids out on the World Wide Web, I really thought that the design is groundbreaking and that the watch will be groundbreaking. And then, of course, whatever was delivered, well, I tore open the box, trust me. But then I saw it and the elation just it went out of me. Because, again, let, let me show it to you, all right? Let me show this to you. So, this is what it looks like, right? And straight away, it doesn't look as magical, nor as modern or ultra-modern as it was positioned. From the pre-release videos, I thought that it's gonna have a massively curved screen. That's not massively curved in my mind. That's almost flat. Yeah, there is a slight curvature here, but is it massive? No. It's not. The display though, yes, it is big. It's got a whopping 50 millimeter long display. That's excellent. Let's not just focus on the curvature. That's fine. Let's talk about the design of the actual watch case. It's plain and bare and boring and just no fun. And it doesn't look premium. Of course, you could just say, hey, where's hold on, you're only paying 100 quid for it, or 130 bucks. Well, yeah, but the Honor Magic Watch 2 42 millimeters is now selling for 130 pounds or 160 bucks. That's not much more, but you're getting such a lovely design. The watch looks premium. This one doesn't. To me, it looks like an oversized fitness band, something that was packed with premium features, yes, but it doesn't look like a smartwatch. It looks like a big fitness band. Another annoyance was the fact that the watch face, including the lugs, is a whopping 53 millimeters. Now, just take a look at my wrist. It's a medium sized wrist at six and a half inches, and the watch is sitting on top, but barely and borderline okayish. But if you have more slender wrists, hmm, you may be in for an unpleasant surprise. The watch will look like a seesaw on top of it, and that just sucks. The straps are the usual 20 millimeters replaceable bands, which is definitely a positive. You can always make the watch more funky with the bright band or smart it up with a leather one. The strap is comfortable enough, though due to its long length, an extra loop would have been useful for keeping it all tucked in. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Honor Watch ES so far. If you are liking it, then please see some links below in the description with some great prices. Let's talk about the display. Well, it's a huge 1.64 inch AMOLED panel with a great resolution of 456 by 280. Five brightness levels as well as auto brightness are available. There are tons of watch faces available to download. There's always on display, but that's if you don't really care about your battery life. Let's put it this way. If the Honor Magic Watch 2 42 millimeters is a bit on the expensive side for you, then dive right in and get this bad boy. The design may not settle with me simply because I see this device as a fitness band on steroids, but the functionality is great. We can't get away from it. It's really, really good. In essence, it has the same functionality as the Honor Magic Watch 2, but with connected GPS instead of inbuilt GPS. Let's talk about some of the features and functions so you know what you're gonna get here. The Honor Watch ES has over 100 fitness modes, ranging from common ones like outdoor running, cycling and indoor running, to the more interesting ones, such as Latin dancing, Tai Chi, cricket and boating. 
We haven't managed to test the Honor Watch ES fitness modes thoroughly yet. You'll have to watch our upcoming full review for that. The Honor Watch ES also has loads of other general health and wellness tools. There's stress charting, which Honor and Huawei watches have had for a while now. A heart rate monitor, certified sleep tracking by Harvard Medical School, which actually tracks both your light, deep and REM sleep. There's breathing exercises and overall step and activity trackers. There's also on-demand SpO2 monitoring available, but I'm sure we were all hoping for more. What about an overnight metric? Something like Fitbit is doing or Garmin. There's also female cycle tracking, but you need to enable it on the app, not the watch face, so it is a little fiddly to get sorted. And not as easy as on the Garmin Venue SQ, for example. Now that I mentioned the Venue SQ, you may want to check it out as well. It is slightly more expensive, but it trumps the Honor Watch ES in almost every category of smarts and sports, except for the display, of course. The Watch ES does have an amazing screen. The 1.65 color AMOLED screen, yeah, it is good. So who is this watch for? That's a very good question. <laughs> With this initial impressions review, it's going to be tough to say. I think that if you're really into sports and you like the outdoor activities, then yes, the Watch ES is good for you if you're not willing to spend a hundred pounds plus to get a decent sport watch, something like the Garmin Venue SQ again, or the full-blown Honor Magic Watch 2 46 millimeters. But let's say you don't want to splash out all that cash, but you do need a very good tracker. Well then, this watch is great for you, but you have to remember, you can't download music to it. You're not gonna get the 4GB you got on the Honor Magic Watch 2. Also, this one only has connected GPS. So yes, you can still track your runs, but only if you have your mobile phone connected to it in your pocket. Not amazing, but hey, it is 100 pounds. It does have a very big screen. The bands are replaceable, which is excellent. So you do have options to smart up the watch and it does look good. Notification management has always been very good with Huawei and Honor watches. Then of course you do get all the tidbits like 100 sport mode, you get a dedicated running app. There's the SPO2 monitoring. Yes, it might be on demand, but again, for a hundred pounds, great price. The screen is lovely, we've mentioned it, it's large, it's colorful, it's so easy to read your text, even some emails. So what do I think? Let's sum it up. I think for £100 or $130, this is a decent, very, very large fitness band. As a sport watch, I'm just not so sure. And I was expecting a bit more from Honor. I thought they are going to really trump it. They're going to get in there and do some extra tech, build on their existing technologies. But that didn't happen. What we are seeing here is a nice watch using all the tech that has been around for a year or more in back. They're taking it, they plastered it in here and they're selling it cheap just to get it all out. And we can hope maybe for an Honor Magic Watch 3 at the start of next year. But keep watching us for a full review of the workout mode. We're going to check it. We're going to see how the heart rate monitor works. We're going to check SpO2 metrics. We're going to look at sleep tracking. We're just going to uncover everything about this one in the next review. By the way, thank you to everybody who has already subscribed to the Wesner's channel. If you haven't though, please click on the red subscribe button below the screen to make sure you don't miss out on any of the new content coming out.